Hello, my amazing artists. Welcome to another episode of Free Art Friday. Today, we are going to be painting rocks. I don't know if you remember, but last year, our art department had a rock painting station for Grandparents' Day. This year, we aren't going to be able to do that, but we still can paint rocks and we can bring them to school and we can put them in the front of the school by our painted rock garden. The first thing you're going to need to do is find a rock. Please find a smooth rock and it's a rock that is hard. The next thing you're going to need to do, especially if you find these outside, is wash them and make sure they're nice and clean. Because if there's dirt on the rock, then the paint is not going to stick. So we need to make sure these are clean. So I'm going to clean them and I'm going to sit them in the sun for a couple days to make sure that they're very dry and there's no water on the inside. And then I'm going to start painting. Last year, we used Wisconsin Skipper Stones. They were very smooth stones that were three to five inches. They were washed and then they were spray painted. We needed several coats of spray paint to make a nice base for our stones. Then we used acrylic paints or paint pens or Sharpie markers to make a beautiful design. All right, welcome back. My rocks are dry. They've been dried for a few days and I am ready to start decorating them for our rock painting project. I was looking around and I noticed that I did not have very many paints that I could use. So what I'm deciding to do is use a Sharpie marker instead of paint. And I'm going to make patterns on my rock. When I look at the rock, I look for the different imperfections. I like to highlight those imperfections and make something beautiful out of them. So I am um, just going around the edges of um, cracks that I see or even um, stripes in the rock. I think it's fun to add a few different colors to the rock and then as well as the different patterns and um, just have fun with it. I was thinking, wouldn't it be great if we could make positive messages on these rocks and leave them around in special places in the community? I'm even going to add a Bible verse about this time that reminds me that even though there's suffering, it produces perseverance, perseverance character and character hope. It seems appropriate for this year. When you're finished with your pattern, make sure you add your initials and the year you made it onto the rock. If you would like, Please bring your rock back to school so that I could put a protective coating on it and we can put it in the rock garden. Otherwise, put it in a special place in your community. Have a great Free Art Friday.